Hey guys, um, it's kind of late on in the week for me to be starting vlogging, but um, you know, I've committed now, I said I'm going to do it. Um, I actually don't look too bad, I was going to say if I look like I've been crying. It's because I have, I'm not going to go into it. Um, I got a little bit of bad news, but you know, I might tell you later on, I might not. But uh, you know, it's fine, life goes on, we'll get better. So yeah, um, I'm getting ready for work. Well, I'm pretty much ready for work. I've done my makeup and stuff, put a bit of purple on today to like spruce up my eyes, do something a bit different. Um, yeah, it's my brother's birthday tomorrow and I've left getting my present super late. So I got my face mask from Lush the other day, which after I bought, I realised I have to post this and they're supposed to be in the fridge, so like, I don't know how that's going to work. But yeah, I got my face mask and then I've got my voucher. You know, it's fine for me to be telling you because by the time this goes up, his birthday will have passed because it's tomorrow. But yeah, um, I've got my voucher. Could you hear that? My phone just pinged. Um, for the bowling in Edinburgh because he moved. I don't know if I told you guys either. But yeah, my brother officially moved out a couple of days ago. So he now lives in Edinburgh. So I've got my voucher for him and a friend to go bowling and they get free pizza and things. And I also got my cushion made up that has like a collage of lots of his favourite pictures of like me and him and his friends and family and things. So... But um, because I left it so last minute, it obviously couldn't be delivered in time. So that'll be delivered at some point next week. So I hope he likes that. But I wanted to give him something to open. That's why I'm sending him like the voucher and the face mask and stuff. Just a little happy birthday, you know. Um, he's actually going to be at my parents' house for his birthday. But I couldn't get the time off work. So I'm not going to be there. But it's fine. Because he's not doing anything anyway. Would have just been sitting playing Monopoly all day. Um... Yeah, but I have, and I also have a concert next week. Me and my friend Amy went to the bingo the other day and she won some money. So, um, I like I should have vlogged it, but I'm still not comfortable vlogging around Amy yet. Um, although she does know that I put videos on YouTube. Um, so she won some money and we got some concert tickets to go see a group called Hay Hayseed Dixie. I'll uh, try and pop some of their videos in the description box. They basically take classic rock songs and make them country sounding it's bizarre they're a bit bizarre but i just thought it'd be a good night out anyway so we we're going to that next week and i needed some time off for that so um that's why i couldn't get my brother's birthday off and it's also my birthday next week so this will be getting up before my birthday but i will be vlogging my birthday in the next video which i'm so excited about again i don't have anything major planned probably just going into town with some friends but it shall be exciting anyway i'm gonna be the big 22 and everyone's gonna be singing taylor swift to me <laughs> Yeah, and for anyone that cares, it's on the 21st and I'm excited because I love birthdays and I just love holidays in general and yeah, it'll be well good. And guys, hello kitty. Hello kitty, hello kitty. <laughs> oh, you can't see the camera, but oh, it's giving me the diff there. Hello. Morning! As you can see, today we're somewhere a bit different. We've came to view the Clava Cairns, which I'm not 100% sure what they are, but I'll definitely read the info on them and tell you. Um, they're basically like big burial memorial things. It's made of stones basically, but they're in really cool formations and stuff. Like, this is one of them. And there's two more down there. What, babe? Yeah, we'll try and find some more information about them. But these are cool. I found a plaque. This will tell us all about it. The North East Passage Grave. It is a grave. No, we'll film it. So according to the little plaque that we were just reading, they used to look different. They used to have dome roofs and things on them. But um, obviously over time they've all kind of fell down and stuff. The... What am I trying to say here? They're freezing cold if you touch them. They are. They're really cool. But um, yeah, they said that 
they used to be really dark and they are built in such a way that they only have light inside them during the winter solstice. Um, really quite interesting stuff. It also says that records are kind of confused. They don't know if there's actually bodies under them or if it's just memorial. So we might have been walking on dead bodies, we might not have been. But nonetheless, they are pretty cool. And the fact that they're not held together with any cement and anything, it's just like all stones lying on top of each other. Like I picked one up and I was like, oh sugar, I could get arrested for this. Like this one here. Wow. This one doesn't have a passageway. We walked through the other one like you saw. This is so cool. There's specifically something um, as you walk in that says do not climb on them, which makes me want to climb on them even more. <sighs> of course, because isn't everyone like that when you get told you can't do something, you want to do it even more. <laughs> but yeah, here's another plaque that tells all about this one in the middle. Okay, so I wasn't quite aware that this place was so um, so deadly. <laughs> I'm not sure. It says here that um, this little one here, which is the circular one with no entrance, it's called the Central Ring Cairn. Um, basically, that didn't have a roof like the last one, but they found signs of like burned bones and things. So, you know, no one's 100% sure, obviously, but they think they used to burn the bodies in here, store the bodies in the... Oh my god, my memory's terrible. The one I just showed you, the um... I don't know. <laughs> the one with the passageway, anyway, and there's another one over here. What's this one? The construction of the cairn is almost identical to the other passage grave at Clava. So again, it's another one that's built for like worship at the time of the sun or something. So it looks like this one is another grave, must be very similar to the first one. But yeah, they all have a common running theme that they were used during certain times of like the sunrise and the sunset and things. It's vaguely interesting, well not vaguely, it's very interesting, I just um, don't quite get it. I feel like it would benefit if there was someone here that could like explain it a bit more. But yeah. Oh this one's a bit shorter, it's not as tall. It's cool. like a perfect wee ducat for it. Okay, we're going to take a boulder and put it oh, inside one of the trees right here. Because Gary said if we come back in a few years time the tree will have got around the stone if nobody moves it. I think we'll probably forget. Okay. At least we've left our mark on this place without totally destroying it.
Good morning, y'all. My hair is crazy. I'm not finished getting ready yet. But guess what? It's my birthday! As Taylor Swift would say, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Roxy, are you coming? Come on. Just go outside. Uh, I'm back in Glasgow right now and I'm all home alone because my mum and stuff's at work, but it's fine because she finishes like in in fact, she finished like 10 minutes ago, so she'll be home soon. And then I'm going to go meet Fiona and Ross, who you will know if you've watched any of my previous vlogs. We're going to go get drinks, and it's just going to be a good old day. And I found a ring that um, I bought when I was in London with Fiona, and I kind of forgot about it, and I forgot that I'd lost it here, but yay, I have it back again, so I'm so happy. But yeah, I'm just going to take Roxy outside, and then I'm going to fix this hair, and see my mummy, and then I'm going to go into the town and have some cocktails and just have a good old lady. Could you want a break? Can you come with me? Yeah, I'll just smash it, it's fine. Yeah, can you smash it? That's fine. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Just try to get some arty shots. Well done, well done, well done. That's your pro and roll. Hmm? Ross has a new friend. And then look. 